I believe that hypothesis number four is the most convincing resolution to the environmentalist paradox. This hypothesis describes that we are not yet seeing a decline in human well-being because there is a time lag between ecosystem degradation and this decline in well-being. I believe that there is strong evidence of this through the Gapminder exercise we did in class. I ran multiple tests, graphing out different environmental degradation instances versus measures of human well-being. In figure number one in the top left corner, life expectancy of human humans measured in years is plotted on the x-axis, while forest coverage, which is the total percent of land covered by forests in a year, was plotted on the y-axis measured in percentages. The data started at a time of 1989 and ran through 2018. I chose the country Brazil as it was demonstrated most clearly that human well-being is still increasing while the forest coverage is clearly declining. Within only 30 years, there was a 10% decline in forest coverage in Brazil. Forest cover is so important to life on Earth. It prevents soil erosion, it gives habitats to wildlife, and the trees in the forest help take out harmful greenhouse gases in the atmosphere such as CO2. Timber and forestry are reaching a concerningly low limit and past what is shown in the graph on Gapminder, forest coverage is still declining to this day. Although trees are technically a renewable source as we can plant more of them to grow, these forests that are being cut down can be hundreds of years old and it takes a substantially larger amount of time to grow back the forests versus cutting them down. So as we are seeing ourselves reach this limit on, res on our resources, why is human well-being still increasing? This fact can be supported by hypothesis number four, that things like this do not have a consequence right away. It can have a time lag until it starts to affect us, and by the point we realize it may be too late. Not only did I run forest coverage against life expectancy, but also child mot mortality rate, food supply, and malnutrition. It was the same trend of an increase in human well-being versus a decrease in forest cover. In figure number two in the lower right-hand corner, I changed the x y axis from forest cover to renewable water, which refers to the average annual flow of rivers and recharge of groundwater generated from precipitation which is measured in cubic meters per person. Fresh and renewable water is extremely important to all life, and this resource, resource is being depleted as depicted in the graph. In 1961, the renewable water amount was 112,000, while in 2013, it dec declined to 41,000. Losing both, both forest coverage and access to fresh water can have several ne negative effects on human life. But again, as of right now, our, our well-being is still increasing. In the near future, as resources continue to degrade, we may not be able to adapt or avoid these consequences as we are now. And then we will start to see a decline in human well-being. There has been evidence in the past of collapse and decline in our well-being as a population, and it can definitely happen again. Overall, I believe this evidence makes hypothesis number four the most convincing to the environmentalist paradox compared to the others other hypotheses in my opinion.